Hello and welcome to this video series where we build a batch platform using Kubernetes. I'm Mofi, a developer advocate at Google, and I have... I'm Ali, and I'm a solutions architect at Google. I help customers build high-performance platforms on Google Cloud. In the previous video, we looked at what a batch platform for HPC looks like in general. In this video, we're going to look at how that looks like in the world of Kubernetes. <music> In the previous video, we looked at this particular diagram where we had a job that goes through a queue, gets scheduled by the scheduler to our worker nodes, and we had storage to both handle the input and output of our workload. But how do we map a batch system components to GKE and Kubernetes? So we already have the rest of the components in the Kubernetes ecosystem to represent the pieces of a batch platform. You have the job API that covers the creation and submission of a job. Kubernetes itself is a scheduler. You have the concept of storage classes and various options to consume those storage, such as cloud storage, NFS as in file store, or any kind of block storage device. And then you have monitoring options like Prometheus and any number of open source monitoring tools like OpenTelemetry. And then you have node pools that actually go and run the workloads with the capability to auto scale them. Now, the only thing that's really missing is a job queuing system, right? Enter queue. Queue is a Kubernetes native job queuing system. Mofi, can you tell us a little more about it? Queue is a set of APIs and controllers for job queuing. In Kubernetes, we have a set of controls to handle when a job should be scheduled. But these are not as well defined as we need to handle a batch platform like we are trying to build here. With queue, we could handle preemption, as well as fair sharing of our resources, where the same platform can be used by multiple teams at the same time without stepping on each other's toes. Q is a job level manager that decides when jobs should be admitted to start or when it should stop. We'll talk about Q in much more details in a future video. GKE is Google Kubernetes Engine, which is a Google managed Kubernetes experience. It comes in two modes of operation. Autopilot, which is completely hands-off, where you focus on your workload and Google manages the infrastructure to fulfill what the workload needs. And Standard, where you have a lot more in-depth control over how resources are configured and deployed. When compared side by side, we can see there are certain differences between GK Autopilot and GK Standard. Both GK Autopilot and GK Standard has access to all shapes of Google Cloud VMs, accelerators, and spot instances. So the main difference between Autopilot and GK Standard ends up being how much responsibility you want to take and how much do you want to focus on just your workload. So in this video, we learned about how to map a batch platform to the Kubernetes ecosystem. In the next video, we're going to dive deeper into those Kubernetes primitives that allows us to build a batch platform on Kubernetes.